We begin tonight with a planned Marcos return to Malacanang. Bongbong Marcos has announced that he intends to run as president and push for a more just society. But his older sister is saying otherwise. News 5's Patricia Mangune has the story. In an interview with the London-based Financial Times, former Senator Bongbong Marcos confirmed what many had predicted long before. The son and namesake of the late dictator Ferdinand Marcos is eyeing the presidency. Although Marcos claims it is not yet something he's actively planning. Ilocos Norte Governor Aimee Marcos, however, said the family had not yet discussed the matter. Aimee Marcos said her brother would rather concentrate first on the election protest against Vice President Lenny Robreno. Hindi nga matapos-tapos yung recount na yan, eh, ipopromote pa, lalaki pa yung uh, sakit ng ulo. Aimee, however, stressed that her brother would not seek any post in the midterm elections as he was confident with his poll protest. Yes, lahat kami talagang uh, sabay dasal sa vice president. Hindi yung president wala talaga sa topic yun. Usapan lang namin, baka iba na ang tumakbo. The former senator who grew up in Malacanang when his father ruled the country for more than two decades said in his interview that he wants to bring back the concept of nation building. Marcos said he wants to push for a more egalitarian system of government with equal rights and equal opportunities for all. But political science professor Dindo Manhit says Filipinos might not yet be ready for another Marcos in Malacanang. The question is, is the Philippines ready to vote for him? I feel not. Why? Uh, he carries the burden of the Marcos legacy. It could be positive, but it's also negative. The Marcos family has been accused of plundering the nation's wealth, something the family denies. Still, the past five administrations have already recovered 170 billion pesos of ill-gotten wealth from the Marcoses and their cronies. But Manhit says Marcos's chances would also depend on who else is running against him. So far, it is not clear if President Duterte is throwing his weight behind Marcos. It remains to be seen. I have not seen President Duterte go out totally. Why did he not choose Bong Bong for vice president? If I was President Duterte, I am in power right now. Why will I think of giving it to somebody else? For News 5, Patricia Mangune, we are One News.